Good afternoon, fellow Airstreamers. Uh, here today doing a little bit of work on our camper. We have a 2018 25 foot front bed twin and we're installing a new faucet for the bathroom today. So the original Growy unit is here. Uh, it's actually pretty nice quality. We really do like the way it looks and it works fine. Uh, our only real complaint is the projection. In that sink, in that bathroom, uh, the way the sink and the bathroom's laid out, this projection is just not enough. It barely overhangs the back edge of the sink. So washing your hands, brushing your teeth, you're always kind of hitting the back edge of the sink and it's not quite ideal. So what we've done, we found an Ikea faucet that we feel looks pretty good. Uh, we've had good luck with Ikea faucets in the, the past. One of the reasons we looked to Ikea in this case is because the original one has this single hole design and um, we know the Ikea ones tend to tend to have that style. Also, the lines here, which we'll get to in a second. Um, installation was pretty easy. I'll run into the, here are a few tools, so I'll go through those, but I'll run into the camp, into the bathroom and show you what it looks like. So number one, when I did this, I just took the door off. You, if you own this generation of Airstream, you are going to be very well aware of how to take and, and reassemble these hinges. Um, typically, they fall off if you uh, if you just look at them wrong. So it's not it's not difficult to do. Here's the new faucet. Um, this is a little gadget my wife found that is nice for just kind of absorbing a little bit of the water splash. Uh, we're hoping that it's not actually necessary for this specific with this new faucet. Uh, also, I shut the drain so that you don't get any uh, small parts down there. So we'll go underneath. As with any faucet, there's just the two water lines. Um, pretty straightforward. If you've done any plumbing in the past, you're gonna be very comfortable with this. Um, one, again, one of the big things that led us to the IKEA faucet was the single hole design and we got lucky on the fittings. So these are very st standard fittings, but typically in the past we've um, we've had we found that the IKEA ones don't fit standard plumbing fittings for houses. It seems that IKEA has changed that in the last couple of years, and now that they now they are compatible. But these fittings have O-rings in them. It's a five-eighths wrench they use to take them off, both on the hot and the cold. It's a piece of cake to get them loose. They're not even that tight. Because of the O-ring design, you don't have to go that tight when you're tightening them either. Um, when I was on here though, I had my big towel. I just kind of wipe things up, take a moment to clean things, and I wrap it all around this area, tuck it down in here behind. So when you take those lines off, you don't get water dripping down in the backside. Um, as far as the connection up under here, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the, the old growy, Fact, the original Growy, the factory Airstream design just has a single bolt coming down. I'll show you that here in a second. It's actually a pretty, pretty nifty nut, but this one has two nuts and this little flange and a gasket, which is pretty standard. It's not difficult to install. Uh, just make sure you put this on the right direction, which I actually did. I put it on backwards the first time. So another recommendation or suggestion here when you're, if you're doing this by yourself, I used one hand to just basically pull down on these tight and that helps to hold the faucet in place above while you're using the other hand to reach and, and tighten these up. Cause it's kind of hard to have one hand above and one hand below. If you, if you use one of the hands down here underneath to pull down on the lines and the other to put the nuts on, you can, you can get it done by yourself. It's better with a helper, but it's not, you don't have to have a helper. So um, again, shut the valves off before you pop the lines. And, and if you have the water turned off, that is, that's best. But as long as your valves here are working correctly, you don't even need to have the, you don't even need to have the water turned off. So, all right, let me show you the instructions. This is that flange I was talking about. Just make sure you put it on per the instructions. The cutout needs to be towards the front of the faucet. And uh, honestly, pretty simple. Here were the tools we used to take the old one off. 5 eighths wrench. Did the fittings on the old as well as the new. And 13 millimeters was used for this nut right here. Now this nut I will say is pretty nifty. 
this is the one you when you loosen it as soon as you get past the shoulder it actually is made to tilt and you can slide it right up and down so you don't have to thread it a hundred thousand miles it's pretty quick to t put on and off so that was a neat design uh, and then when you're reinstalling the new one again same 5 8 wrench for the plumbing fitting and then a 3 8 for the two small nuts that are on the bottom side these nuts here that are on the bottom side of the new faucet there's this little tool that the new faucet will come with a little plastic tool i did not find that to be helpful because there's just no room in the airstream to use it also you won't need to use any of these other spare parts so you can just hold on to those as spares um one comment here you can see there's a little bit of water spotting it was on the sink as well as this we try to keep things tidy but it, it just kind of happens campgrounds have really hard water so one of the things that i'm starting to use now is a portable water softener which while it is a little bit of work and extra weight to take it with you it has been super nice i mean your soap does lather up better and your shower and faucets definitely stay cleaner so um, i'll be doing another video here soon on that uh, it's it's a pretty simple setup but if you'd like to learn more check out the videos and, and soon you should, should soon i should have a video on that as well so again a couple wrenches 13 5 8 3 8 flashlight so you can see what you're doing a towel and a drink as always today we are drinking lacroix coffee exotica thank you everybody hopefully this helps you and happy air streaming